In this video, I want to share with you the top uh, framer resources uh, which uh, I personally used uh, in order to create uh, sites uh, much faster. This is a collection of uh, both uh, components libraries uh, as well as uh, framer templates uh, resources, uh, both free and premium, which uh, are going to help you speed up uh, the workflow. And as you know, as designers, especially if you're freelancing or you have uh, an agency, Time is money, so it's really important to maximize the ROI and these resources are going to help you do just that. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. In this video, I want to share with you some free and premium resources which are going to help you speed up the website building process in Framer. And uh, this is going to be especially useful if uh, you're a freelancer or an agency, or you're simply looking for ways uh, to make uh, the process way faster so that you can make more money in less time when working with clients or even on personal projects. So the very first resource which I recommend you to check out uh, that offers uh, a free uh, components uh, is uh, Talbit. Now, Talbit uh, is um, really interesting, uh, uh, has a really interesting approach because if you check out uh, the components, uh, it's uh, almost uh, like uh, a wireframe. And uh, the great thing about it is that you can browse this library. And then uh, once you find uh, a section which you like, uh, which you can uh, double check uh, uh, over here, you can easily simply copy it uh, in uh, Figma, Framer, or in this case, even in Webflow, you will need uh, to sign up uh, to there and create an account essentially. And uh, after that, uh, you can easily uh, copy these elements uh, uh, directly from the components library. So I really like it in the sense that uh, it's not heavily styled. Uh, there isn't uh, too much going on when it comes to, to the styling. So it's uh, very, um, flexible for all sorts of different projects and uh, the library is quite extensive and uh, again they do have uh, free components uh, so you can get started uh, and uh, leverage this tool without uh, uh, paying and then uh, if you want uh, the premium components uh, you can actually go ahead and uh, pull the trigger on that uh, after you already experienced it. Now the next uh, resource which I recommend, and by the way, I'm not associated or affiliated with uh, any of these uh, companies. I uh, genuinely just like them, use them in the past uh, and recommend them. So uh, take it uh, as you wish. And uh, when it comes uh, to the second one, uh, my, it's uh, uh, one of my favorites uh, uh, that I used uh, for both personal projects and client work. Uh, and even on my personal website uh, is uh, Flowbase. Flowbase, uh, I think uh, it's um, definitely one of the best uh, components library out there. The cool thing about uh, Flowbase uh, is that um, you have uh, these uh, collections, which are essentially themes. Uh, uh, it's almost like a, a predefined template. So if I select, for example, Sarah, I'm going to have uh, uh, components which display in that specific uh, uh, UI style so you can make it uh, you can see it almost a, as a UI kit uh, uh, which has been breaking down into individual components which makes the entire experience just so much easier uh, instead of uh, having to to go through uh, different visual styles uh, which you know you, you can do and then adapt it but um, yeah, the designs were, were exceptional, very clean, uh, very polished. Uh, the library is very extensive. And uh, again, I really like uh, uh, the approach that uh, Flowbase used also in uh, their filtering system. You know, you can uh, check out uh, on the uh, by platform. So for example, you can uh, search only by Framer or Figma or Webflow, and then you can mix up these uh, uh, the category filters and, and the collections and you can get to <clears throat> exactly what you're searching for in a very fast way. Now these are the components. They also do have uh, uh, wireframes. Uh, they also have uh, individual elements, uh, most of the times uh, and also illustrations. But I would say most of the times I just uh, use the components uh, uh, because that is really like where they 
uh, shine. They do come with uh, a subscription which uh, might not be light uh, for some of you guys uh, since uh, I believe at the time of recording this video is around $39 a month which uh, it sounds uh, expensive but uh, see that you have uh, a client project that is paying you thousands of dollars and uh, you need uh, a way to bootstrap uh, a project uh, faster and then you know of course you're going to adjust the design to the client specific needs and tailor it to uh, whatever the project requirement is uh, you can simply get this subscription for one month which is what i do and then uh, you essentially save and cut out uh, many many hours of work and this is especially useful if you're very busy um, alternatively you could have uh, hired uh, someone else but but it's likely going to cost uh, more time and effort uh, along the way so again it's a tool at your disposal it's not going to work for each and every client project or personal project but definitely something to consider now the very next tool that i wanted to talk about uh, is uh, framework templates because uh, uh, this uh, is uh, a resource uh, which of course is going to be extremely extensive it's the official framer templates library they have uh, pretty much all, all the main templates that you can find on, on framer on the web so the library is extremely extensive you can find some beautiful beautiful designs uh, in here and uh, the price uh, also vary there's a lot of bargains uh, out there the sites which i believe are very professional the designers uh, and developers took a lot of time uh, to consolidate these designs uh, and uh, the price point is uh, just a no-brainer in my in my opinion especially if you find the right uh, uh, fit for the project there's also a lot of uh, free templates there's 185 templates at the time of recording this video there's go likely going to be many many more in uh, the future so definitely check out uh, on uh, framer templates now let's move on uh, to the very last uh, resource uh, which uh, is uh, one of my personal favorites uh, uh, especially for ui kits uh, but in recent years uh, they really uh, made some great uh, uh, movement uh, when it comes to framer templates and that is uh, ui8 now if uh, you check uh, Framer, you're going to find uh, all sorts of uh, different uh, framer sites uh, which uh, are uh, extremely elegant. Uh, there's a lot of the most premium uh, uh, framer sites out there. The prices aren't always the most uh, budget friendly compared to some other resources, but if uh, you're looking for quality and you want the best of the best, uh, UI8 is always. Uh, the place to be and uh, they also run sales uh, uh, occasionally so you definitely want to check it out uh, and um, if you're a designer and you use uh, ui kits uh, and uh, other uh, design assets uh, often uh, one thing which uh, you might want to consider is um, getting their unlimited pass uh, which um, essentially for a flat uh, um, either uh, i can we really remember the uh, how much is the subscription maybe like six months or to one year they also have an unlimited pass uh, but basically get uh, access to a lot of downloads uh, per day for a extremely uh, good discount overall so definitely check it out if you're interested in that and um, yeah hope this was helpful and uh, check out these uh, resources and enjoy your uh, framework